Hey guys and welcome to this Lightroom slash Photoshop tutorial about my latest photo series titled Tranquility. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. Last Tuesday I posted a behind the scenes video about my latest beauty slash fashion slash conceptual photo shoot involving a custom made dress. In that video we took a quick look at how the dress was made as well as how I lit the scene and brought it all together. After uploading that video I received multiple questions and messages from people asking about the post-processing and how I achieved the painterly look. Because of these requests I decided to create a two-part video about the process. Today we take a look at the adjustments that I made in Lightroom and next Tuesday we continue editing in Photoshop. So let's get started. So before we turn to the computer I would like to talk a little bit about how I use Lightroom. As some of you might know, most of the editing that I do is done in Photoshop. But uh, nowadays I use Lightroom when shooting in an indoors controlled studio environment. What I do is, before my model gets her makeup and hair done, I take a few test shots of her to see how the light looks like. And then, while she's getting her makeup and hair done, I turn to the computer and use these test shots and create a preset on them. And that way, when the photo shoot really starts, and I'm shooting tethered into the computer, uh, each and every photo that I take goes through this preset, and that way my crew and the model can see what my vision for the photograph is. This preset really embodies my vision for the photograph. The colors have been already changed, it almost looks like a finished product already. And that way, the whole crew can quickly see what my vision is. So here's the final image, and uh, here is the image straight out of the camera. But me and my crew, we didn't see this image. What we saw was actually this. This is the image with the preset that I created on the fly while my model was getting her makeup and hair done. Each and every photo that I took looked more like this and not like this. That way everyone already had a quick understanding of what I was going for and how the final image would look like. Now I'll go through the steps that I took in order to create this preset. So let's create the preset again. I use the SLR Lounge preset system as I have found it to be a very easy and quick way to create uh, tailor-made presets for these types of shoots. You can really control everything you want and create a look that you're going for very quickly and that's why I use these presets. Uh, so let's get started. First I apply this standard import uh, preset from here which sharpens up the image a bit and does a few other things. Just con uh, makes the raw file look a little bit better. After that I added some contrast from here so a light contrast boost just to add some contrast to the image. Then I went down here to warm curves and down here to a warm cross neutral punch. Actually no, I first tried this one but then decided to go with this more of a vintage punch. So warm cross vintage punch instead. Uh, it gives a little bit of a more of a vintage look into the image, which I was going for anyway. After that, we, I closed this up and went down to the, the color toning, which is here, and added some blues into this image. So, this blue blue tone here. After that, as you can see, I already have a nice vignette here, but I still wanted to kind of accentuate it. So, I added a light vignette here as well down from here, special effects and light radial vignette. So I added a light vignette on it and then I really wanted to soften up the edges of this image so I went down here to heavy edge softening. As you can see it softens up and uh, the edges of the image. After that I worked on the colors a bit. What I did I was uh, changing up the hue of the highlights to a more of a yellowish tone 
somewhere around 49, 48, and saturation of 19, a little bit more, so about 21. And then I felt the image was slightly too yellowish, so I pulled down the balance, a split toning balance, more to the shadow, shadowy side, somewhere around 15, and then changed up the hue of the shadows a little bit as well. A little bit more of a greenish blue, 214 maybe, and put the saturation down as I felt it was too vibrant, like this. Then I felt this image was slightly too sharp for my taste, so I pulled down the clarity quite a bit, down to minus 15 almost. And that already gives a very painterly feel into the image. And after that, I just pulled down the saturation as I felt there was too much going on. I pull, put it down to minus 14, about, minus 15. And then played around with the temperature and tint as well. I warmed up the image a bit, somewhere around 5.1, 5.2 kelvins. And uh, added a slight greenish tint into the image, uh, somewhere around minus 14. Minus 13, that looks good. After that, I felt there was slightly too much too much contrast in the image, so I pulled that down as well. Somewhere around 15, 16, maybe. Yep, and then I went down to this tone curve here and wanted to add some pop into the highlights and light uh, light areas of the image. So I pulled up the highlight tones up to 27, 26 and the light uh, tones here as well, a little bit, but this really little, about four, maybe. And then, and the image, uh, the preset is almost done now. What I wanted to change was uh, the hue of the blue here. So what I did was I went down to this hue panel here and clicked on this button. Now you can go on top of this blue area here and click and pull your mouse up or down and depending on the direction it makes the uh, blues and uh, blue colors uh, the, or the blue hue more purple or more greenish and uh, I really enjoy looking at a slightly more greenish hue so somewhere around here so what I did as you can see the slider went to the uh, to left to more of a greenish hue here and the agua could go uh, that direction as well so that way I get the more nice uh, blue that I enjoy looking at so that's pretty much it that's how uh, I created the preset and then just click done here and uh, then I also just just to show you that uh, the final crop so uh, pull down pull this down it's somewhere around here and then now that I had the preset created what I only did was I clicked on this plus button here Nay, uh, I give this preset a name let's call it tranquility tranquility yep and uh, you can put it anywhere you want I usually put them in the user presets and that way uh, I can quickly also go and delete it after the photo shoot as each each of these presets really are tailor made for the photo shoot I'm doing and uh, I don't feel that I will be able to use the uh, same preset again so I can always go and then delete it if I need to. So I put it in the user presets and click on check all to check all these boxes here and just create, uh, click create. And uh, I already have one like that but I'll just replace it. So after the preset was created what I do is I go here and I shoot each of the photographs photographs tethered into the computer shows so I go down to tethered capture and start tethered capture uh, I give a session name and uh, choose a location where the images go to in this case I just put it on desktop and to a folder called tranquility and click choose and then just click OK and now once your camera is uh, connected it will show up here you go here and uh, choose your preset from here, user presets tranquility and now every single photograph that you take will go through this preset and will look much more 
like a finished product already and that way your model and the rest of the crew knows what you're looking for and that way they can maybe get into their role a little bit better and they understand what you're really looking for from them as well so that's why I do this and then when I get back home I look at the images and work on them first a little bit in the Lightroom and after that move into Photoshop and continue editing there so that's uh, how I edited uh, these tranquility photographs I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, first part of the tutorial and uh, again next Tuesday we'll continue editing this image in Photoshop and uh, I'll show you guys how to apply textures how to uh, work on the colors a bit and uh, we'll see what else I did in Photoshop so uh, see you again next Tuesday if you have any questions or requests just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out thanks guys bye